Curriculum 21. Curriculum 21. Curriculum 21. Welcome to the Curriculum 21 channel. I'm Heidi Hayes Jacobs, and I'm delighted to invite you to join our Curriculum 21 vidcast. from Wuhan, China. This is Mike Fisher, Curriculum 21 faculty member. And Silvia Rosenthal Tolisano. Also a member of the Curriculum 21 faculty. And we're here at the number one middle school associated with Central China Normal University. We are visiting the class of Stephen Romarth, contributing author to Heidi Hiss Jacobs' book, Curriculum 21, and program director of the International Experimental Class and China's first one-to-one -one iPad initiative. The school's name is misleading for us in the USA since it's a high school. It's serving three grade levels, grades 10, 11, and 12, and it serves over 5,000 students. The international experimental class is similar to an academy within the school. There's about 50 students, and they're all focused on learning English, American history, and culture in order to prepare for the TOEFL, which is the test of English as a foreign language, and the SAT. Uh, their objective is to get accepted to top universities in the United States. These students do not take the Gaokao, which is the Chinese college entry exam. The typical day for these students is very structured and very long, sometimes as long as 14 or 15 hours per day. It includes group calisthenics first thing in the morning at 645 and then again after they've had three classes. They all come together in the courtyard all 5,000 of them, and do calisthenics in unison in perfect rows and columns. The quest for perfection spills over, and the pressure to perform well on these everything determining exams is what drives all decision making. Chinese students study over 14 hours a day in an educational system that is known for rote memorization, lectures, test taking and conformity. In a system that seems to value training above education, Stephen Wilmarth has taken on the challenge to start defying this perception that most Westerners hold of Chinese students. A perception which paints a picture of students being only good test takers, but not for being creative nor possessing critical thinking and problem solving skills. Stephen wants to break his students out of the mold and allow them to reach beyond this perception and prepare them to be admitted and to study in the United States. Stephen has chosen iPads as the vehicle to help him accomplish just that. However, you have to take the Chinese cultural background into consideration to be able to realize the immense undertaking of this program of bringing a one-to-one -one iPad program into a Chinese public school. This background includes teacher-student respect, in addition to the immense pressure of passing with top scores their exams in order to not lose face nor bring dishonor to their families. Teachers stand in front of the class, often on a physical stage and lecture. Students take notes, memorize, and are expected to stand up to answer questions and or recite in unison. Classes have mostly over 50 students in small physical spaces. The one-child policy in China also plays a pivotal role in the education ed equation. Parents are heavily involved and, wa and want and expect top quality educational opportunities for their children. The goal of the program is to give students the skills to take control of their own learning, to own their learning. Having the iPad at their fingertips to store, organize, and retrieve information anytime and anywhere is a game changer. Using the iPads to encourage collaborative work is a game changer. Using the iPads to negotiate meaning that support critical thinking and problem solving skills is a game changer. Using iPads to support communication and presentation skills is a game changer. Using the iPads to replace expensive printed content and textbooks is a game changer. The first one-to-one -one iPad initiative in China is a game changer. What's your favorite, what's your favorite app that you have on here? 
uh, free rice. Free rice. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I can. Oh yeah. Mm, uh, I like some, uh, I like some interesting games uh, such as this. Scrabble. Uh, Scrabble. Yeah. Okay, which also helps you with your words, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can uh, use this to. Uh, uh, Communicate with each other. Uh, with your friends. Uh, That's right. You with the network. Memory. You go and yeah, you yeah, play yeah. with your friends. Very yeah. good. Mm. Who wins when you play together? <laughs> mm, he always wins. He always wins. You like water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. and uh, useful. Yeah, you can use this to now uh, somewhere uh, you haven't you haven't gone. Ten. SAT. <laughs> SAT. What a word. Google Translate. Mm -hmm. this Google, one. Google. This one. Okay, so that's the most that you use, the translate yeah. side. Yeah. Very good. The old forms of teaching and learning are dying. They're passing by the wayside. The new forms are exploding. Chinese students traditionally do not use technology like this in their classrooms, nor do they participate in instructional methods such as collaborating, creative group problem solving, or connecting to students in other parts of the world. These students have been given an incredible opportunity. Not only are they the first students in the country to participate in something like this, they are also modeling a shift in Chinese education. These students are moving beyond the traditional, beyond the decades old, perhaps centuries old methodologies. They are diving headfirst into the 21st century. New times call for new tools. In order to innovate and solve the problems of the future, we have to use the tools of the future. Thank you for joining us on the Curriculum 21 channel. We hope that what we have explored will impact your curriculum practice and design for today and the future. Curriculum 21, essential education for a changing world. We encourage you to visit us at curriculum21.com. And while you're there, you can find us at Facebook. We have a Curriculum 21 Facebook page. We'd love to have you join us there. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, we're Curriculum 21. Thank you so much.